is there a sort of you, you said you want to feel dominant in 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 the on the court is that a real feeling of something that you had felt you weren't doing before and you or had you recognized there were times where you you had felt that dominance and then you were like that that worked and I need, I need to do that again yeah I mean it was a little bit of both I think um you know I've always known that when I play my best in fact some of the games I'll come off court and you know the games when you might have experienced similar it's it's like my racket was a magic wand it just couldn't do anything wrong like yeah. it was just one of those days where you just like, oh, have to bottle this and just have it forever wizardry, um, wizardry. <laughs> one of those wizardry days uh, I love um, that I'll come off court and, you know, we'll talk, we do a debrief with the coaches straight after. And I barely remember what happened in the game mm. because I was this, you know, in the zone, I'm, I'm in my flow, everything's working. Um, but I also recognise that what I do remember of the game is that I've I had a, a presence on the court. I definitely, you know, mixed doubles, especially you play a man and a woman and a, quite a big part of the tactics of the game is expo exposing the woman on either side. So, you know, you have to be, as the woman on one side, you have to be going, well, I'm not going to let you as the man or the pair bully me or expose me, but equally I'm going to try and bully you mm -hmm. um, from the tactical side of things. Um, and I, you know, I always recognise that when I had those good games, I had that confidence, I had that authority, I had that dominance on court. Um, and, you know, I've tried to work on confidence in a lot of ways. And, you know, how do I be confident? How do we this? But for me, it's quite an unnatural thing. So actually I've found that working more on my authority and my presence on court has actually led to confidence, um, you know, because confidence comes from good preparation and from, you know, years of work and what's led into things. It's not really a momentary thing. Um, so, you know, that's definitely been something that I've known over the years has made me good. Um, but equally, I think, like I said, with a lot of the sort of mess that has gone on at Badminton England, I found myself very... I was shrinking, I was being very mm. quiet, I was very sort of, you know, emotionally it was it was one of the really hardest times I've had um, and that had a huge effect on me and kind of sent me the other way, um, you know, very quiet, very negative, lots of, sort of negative self-talk um, and feeling like I was being the one that was getting bullied on court, you know, I was exposed or if we were playing a game I was kind of hiding um, and... I just recognised straight away that that was a very negative trait for me. So it, it kind of works on, on both sides of it. I know it makes me play well. And equally, I know that yeah. not doing it does make me play well. Uh, and it's been a great way for me to start to tap into the sort of confidence side of things. Um, because like I say, confidence for me isn't something that I can just turn on. <laughs> yeah, I think it, I think it's Tony Robbins, the, the great Tony Robbins, that says that your, you, your physical energy, you, your mind will follow your, your body. And, and it's so, it is so true, like there is the mind-body connection of everything. But if you are mentally feeling low, like your body will follow that. So you, like you said, you'll shrink, you'll round off. So the opening up of the body and getting out there and changing your body language, like just is dragging your mind to yeah. get out of that state. And it's, it's, it's nice to hear you saying that. And especially to say that confidence was not natural to you i think there'll be so many people that will resonate with that i think that especially now the world we live in like there the co i think confidence self-confidence is at one of its all-time lows i think many athletes i'm seeing and speaking to even whether it's young entrepreneurs or or business owners even in that are, that are older there's a mm. real confidence crisis and just a lack of of understanding where we get that confidence and some people try to kid it like you said it's built over time it's not it's you can't kid yourself with that confidence so you need to be able to tap into whether it's those early memories of yourself moments when you've achieved or like you said recognizing when it's worked well and and what that looked like what that sounded like uh, one thing i was noting here is that we always review when things go badly but we we very easily when we have a success we'll just kind of bathe in that success for a moment and then move on to the next performance and then if that goes badly we're like whoa what happened there but when you've had a great performance that's a great moment to review what you're doing to just check what got me there what was I looking like what do I sound like what were the prep what do I even eat for breakfast how many hours did I sleep what everything that's there like tick all of those boxes turn over all of those stones because that's there's clues there and then you enter that flow yeah 